So what we have here is the River 2 for 299 on sale for about 210 right now and the River 2 Max. 600 bucks but on sale for about 420 bucks and I'll tell you which one might fit your needs and why. An app that they have, so I have it recording. I'll, I'll keep showing you this app. It shows that I have two power stations and I can connect to either one. I'm gonna connect to the, the River 2 Max. So right there, you can see, and there are a ton of settings that, that I can control with this. Also, it's connected by Bluetooth, I believe. And it also connects by Wi-Fi. So even if you're not on Bluetooth distance, it's across your house, you're across your estate, you can, you can still control this. You know, maybe it's in, installed in your RV somewhere. So how are they the same? How are they different? Uh, they're really twins and of uh, siblings, and they have another one, a Pro, that's coming out soon with even more power. If you are just, you know, just want something to power your laptops, your your RC cars, uh, your chargers. Uh, your phone, light camping, this is the one. You know, you, it's easy, light, it's like a little, I don't know, six pound little package. Uh, and this one, if you wanna do a little more camping, maybe charge your e-bike, uh, charge some bigger devices, then, then the, the Pro might fit the bill. Okay, so how are they different? Obviously the price, 300, 600 is the list price. But the main, is, ma the main stat is the capacity, 256 watt hours for this guy and 512 for this one also there's a difference in the the punch that they have in in terms of the ac 300 watts for this one and this one 500 watts so that determines the type of appliances that you can run with these things both of them have something called xboost technology which doubles the wattage that they have but it does so by lowering the voltage you know so you won't get that much as much power but at least your your coffee maker your your special machine is not going to shut down if uh, if that's all you have out there in the uh, in the camping spot. So what's really special about these machines that uh, make them stand out from the competition? Uh, one thing is the charging. The charging really is head and shoulders. So a lot of these power stations they have uh, an adapter, a charging brick, like this. Okay, so this is about a three-pound machine and you use them to charge all these power stations. These things, they don't have a charging brake. All you need to do is plug them into the wall and they do give you a wire. And this is just a standard wire, as you can see. And all you need to do is plug them in here on the back. And I like that it's in the back, because uh, it's, it's a big wire, you don't want it in the front. So what happens is it charges at such a fast rate, it is insane. This one charges at about a, you'll, you'll kind of see it right here. It charges at about a 300 watt rate, and this one charges at about, I believe, a 600 watt rate. Some of these chargers, some of these power stations I have, it takes about 12 hours to charge. <laughs> the other capability, of course, is they can be charged with a solar panel. EcoFlow has a very nice solar, an, array, uh, an assortment of solar panels. This is one of them, but they're very well made. Uh, the, they take about 110 watts of charging. This guy and this, can, can, this one can take about 200. So the other thing that they do really well is they have a very powerful USB-C. So they have USB for sure and USB-C. This one obviously has more ports. 60 watt USB-C on this and 100 watt USB-C on this one. Do you know your phone charger? That little brick like that is, is three watts. So these things are uh, 100 watts, 60 watts. So this thing is 50% uh, charged. I'm charging it through USB-C and it says it's charging it at a rate of 50 watts. And uh, you can just kind of see it run through 50%, 51%. So it's charging it pretty quick. So really, really cool trick. And the same thing with your iPhone. Uh, your iPhone, the new ones are so powerful. If you forget to charge them at night, I'm like, oh, it's gonna take four hours to charge it uh, during the daytime. But with USB-C, you can just turbo charge this so quickly. So very cool. Another really cool trick is you're out in the field, you have a, uh, you're running out of LiPo batteries. Uh, you could use this to power your LiPo charger. Boom. So you can either use uh, DC or AC. Uh, I did an efficiency test on, on both these things. And what I used is a, a watt meter. Uh, both of them are about 78% efficient on, uh, on AC and about 75% efficient on DC. Not, not the best in class, but fair enough. This thing is now charging, uh, my laptop is now 
So, so pretty fast. Uh, one thing really interesting with the USB port on both these machines is they're bi-directional. So right now, its power current is going out. But if you had a source, if you had a battery, and with a USB-C port, it will charge your battery using the same USB-C port. So another feature that both of them share is a UPS feature. It's a full UPS feature. So now it's taking in 350 watts of power, even though it's supposed to only take 300, but 50 of it is going there. Uh, and the other cool thing is, but when the power here comes out, this will automatically switch over and just, I'll take care of you. So without your device shutting off, uh, it's the, the, the switchover is so instant that it's, it's an uninterrupted power supply. And finally, other cool things about uh, these machines are, uh, they have a five-year warranty and then they're very quiet. You know, the fan only kicks in when it needs to and it kicks in in a variable manner. Uh, it's stackable, really nice form factor, stackable and easy to carry. And let's not forget, uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned in the beginning, but these are lithium iron phosphate batteries. And let's say you, you want some protection um, uh, when, when there's a brownout, put your uh, internet router on this, connect it all the time if, if, you're, if you're getting some frequent power outages. That's why you, you still have your key devices working um, when power is unreliable. And that's what these things are good at. All right, thanks a ton, guys.